Hey guys, CJ here, and welcome to another all-new episode of Hybrid News Now. So I'm going to cut out everything that I usually say in the intro because we have a very, very big video for you today, starting with some promo art from tonight's upcoming Dawn of the Justice League special on the CW. Now, this is the promo art, and while it kind of resembles some of the promo art that we've seen before, you might not notice that it gives us a first look at something that we haven't seen before. That's, of course, Cyborg and The Flash. Cyborg looks really, really cool, and we actually get a better look at him than we do with The Flash. And he looks very, very high-tech, more futuristic than a lot of his on-screen predecessors. Really, I was not expecting him to look that kind of space age, as weird as it sounds for a guy named Cyborg. Now, we don't get quite as good a look at The Flash. He's kind of standing in the back, there's a little bit of glare, so you don't really see as much of him as you do of the other characters, but we do get some glimpses of his suit, and personally, I love the look. I think it looks a lot like his suit from Injustice, which I was a big fan of. Now, hopefully we get a better and more in-depth look at both of these characters tonight, but at this look, let me know what you think in the comments below. Speaking of tonight, make sure you check out that special on CW starting at 9.30. Maybe you want to check out the Legends of Tomorrow one starting at 9 as well after an all-new episode of The Flash. I'm personally going to be tuning in because in addition to that new Suicide Squad trailer I'll be reacting to, they're going to be showing some new Wonder Woman footage never before seen, our first look ever at the movie. And speaking of Wonder Woman, we have our first look at the official logo for the film. Now, it is a really, really cool design, much more intricate than the usual Wonder Woman look, and it honestly kind of reminds me of the way they handled the look of the Asgardians in the MCU version of Thor, which is honestly kind of what I was hoping for out of the, uh, the spin on the Amazonian princess. Really though, the logo is kind of undeniably reminiscent of Batman v Superman's logo, and it makes me wonder, will we be getting similar styles for all of the future Justice League films? And on to our last story of the day, when fans across the country headed to a limited Deadpool event, they figured they'd get some new footage, and hopefully a poster or two, a la the 2014 Guardians special preview. But fans were in for a huge surprise, as they didn't just get 10 or 15 minutes worth of clips. They got screened the entire movie. And if you were concerned about Deadpool for the R rating, which I know some people were, personally I'm not, or after the trailers, or after hearing about the hour and 30 minute runtime, you can rest easy as fan reactions to the movie are almost universally positive, with many specifically praising the R rated take on the super anti-hero. Now, our own Nick was lucky enough to catch a screening of the movie, so if you want to hear about his opinion for it, check out last night's Marvelite with the annotation right there. Personally, I'm incredibly excited for this movie. I just cannot wait. February cannot come fast enough. So that wraps it up for another HNN. Don't forget to subscribe for news videos every day. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.